Well, look at that, everybody. Now, I've just come up through here about 30 yards, and there's a big drop-off, and it goes for a while, then another big drop-off. This whole ravine's been dumped upon, right? Some some good dumping's been done in here. Um, let me see. I just... I found, like, a 1930s food container. But look at this. Oh, yeah, everybody. That salt glaze crockery. That's the good stuff right there. That's like 1890s. And there's some, that looks like a green bottle. That might be a squib. And I threw down a, there it is. Yeah, that's the good milk tops right there, them big ones. So I'm going to rake around in this a bit. There's all kinds of upper mercer bleeding out of the embankment. And all kinds of junk. First time I've been here, I don't know if I'll find anything good, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. As you can see, there's all kinds of stuff. Let's see if we can go ahead and pull this. Wow, that almost looks like a stinking poison bottle. That's got a dauber. Yeah. It might say something there. But anyways. Yeah, there's been some older dumping down into here. Found a lot of pieces of broken up salt glazed crock. Now there's a piece of a whiskey jug, and I thought I'd show this. This is a shard of a Chiro Cola, I believe. The Southern Searcher finds a lot of these, but man, look at that. That's an amber Chiro Cola. Oh, I'd have loved to have had this. Mm. Yeah, it's got whittling. This is really early. Look at the whittling on this bottle. There's embossing. It would have been embossing all over it. There's some more embossing right there. See the whittling and the mold seam. Yeah, this was a blown bottle. It's real thick. Look at that. Man, that would have been a good one. Yep, and there's another piece of salt glaze crock underneath the water there. Nothing full yet other than that little green bottle. See ya. All right, here's an oldie. Something tar. You can tell that's early. Real, it's that foggy blue. Mm -hmm, blown killer. Older than probably 1890. Yep, below me. I made my first video ever. I cut my first video below me in this valley. What's the rake? Oh, it's one of those wines. It's got like a pheasant on it. Not interested in it. Man, everybody, I'm about wore out. That valley about wiped me out. But I got up out of there. And I just walked past this like a... Well, this threw out like a bunch of old concrete blocks back behind me. Check this out. Yep, an old crapper. Right? It's an old outhouse. Yep, look at this rough cut lumber. Yep, but it's not as old as you may think because look at that concrete footers. It's a rock shelter and that's it. It's because it's facing south. Mm-hmm, it's facing south. And in this area, the weather gets real bad in wintertime and so the people would take shelter at least the early archaic peoples and you know paleo indians they would take shelter in these uh areas and they always chose the rock shelters facing south or southeast yep if you can hear that there's waterfalls there's several waterfalls in this monster valley it's hard to get down into here so i'm going to try to stay up out of that today that's real it's dangerous and you got to come in from the other way. If you try to go down through this way, you could fall and die. <laughs> and a video isn't worth that to me. So I'm by myself today and I'm not going to try it. The ground's wet and muddy. Yeah, it's just very bad conditions to be climbing down a steep embankment like that. Yeah, that's way down there, buddy. So, yep. So I'm going to go up through here and see if I can't see 
some more of these that are easier to get to and I can show a better uh, view of it. See ya. Check that out there, buddy. I don't want to get too close to the side of this because the ground's wet, it could give way. But look at that. Look at that. I'd almost, I can't wait to get into there. Now I know that I'd have to start like early in the morning and then it, it'll take me an hour and something to walk all the way up this valley to get to this spot right there. That is amazing. See if I can't. Show this a little better. Yeah, right there's the rock shelter. I mean, it's like a cave. It's, oh man. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make a video here this year. That is amazing. I wonder if anybody's ever got into there and dug. Right there. I mean, it's like a cave entrance. I don't know how far that goes back into there. But that is amazing. It's amazing. And I've got permission, everybody. Written permission on private land. This is private land. Man, look at that. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to get back on the hunt. See you. So, source material real close to the rock shoulder. I, uh, I can't wait. You know, I'll do that when it gets a little warmer out. It dries up a spell. But, yeah, that almost looks like a drinking glass. That's last. I don't know what it was. Maybe. Oh, it's manganese glass. That's purple. Yeah, I've been finding a lot of older stuff, but it's all been broken. See ya. Right there is about a 50 pound slab of upper Mercer. There's about a, eh, about a 20 pound slab and there's about a 10 pound slab. Another slab.